I win first of all. How's Fabrice? Well, he continues, uh, as, as we know, to uh, to get better, but remaining in intensive care. So, uh, but I said, I think when we went the other day and, and managed to see him, then of course we could see the, the continued improvement. And, and as I say, that's uh, that all goes well. And, and you know, long may that continue. I think as well, I have to to say thank you to uh, to the press, the media, because how uh, they've conducted themselves and given you know Fabrice and, and his family that. Uh, really that privacy that, that's been required and, and again I think now is the time that they probably need you know just a little bit more time and space to for Fabrice's continued recovery for the for him and the family uh, but it's been great and as I said you know the well wishes the, the messages have been really supportive and helped him no end and I think he's taken great strength from that and that'll help in his continued uh, you know fight to recover. Is it difficult now for you to see him again over the next few days? With yeah well we you know we we've always had you know uh, representation at you know the hospital, as you know, and that that will continue because as I said it's important that uh, as I say that we know he's getting better, which he is. The doctor gets you know the daily updates in the morning from uh, from Sam at the hospital and, and Andrew have been truly fantastic, and we thank them for that. And as I say, he's uh, he's going in the right direction, and you know with the, everybody's thoughts and prayers, then then long may that continue. Well, let's hope that progress continues. Thank you. Like your teams as well, obviously looking to. Continue where you left off from from last weekend, really excluding the cup tie, but the, the league uh, win over Blackburn, a fantastic program. Yeah, I think you know football wise, obviously we've won our back uh, our last two Barclays Premier League games back to back, and we want to go to to Wolves and try and make that three. We accept that's going to be a difficult task because you know Wolves are are, are, are very good players, a very good team, and uh, and Terry will make sure that they're fired up for the game because. This is game a game, and you know we always say it. We band out the, the old six pointer and everything else. Well, well, it is because it, this is not a game that's taking place in in August or September. It's a game that's taking place now towards the business end of the season, and uh, we understand from our point of view that if we can win the game. It would give us an advantage of seven points with a game in hand over Wolves, and Wolves will be looking to see well as a chance for them to close that gap between ourselves. So that tells you what's involved in the game. Uh, they have good players, a very good side, and again, we have to make sure that we're at our best, which we've been doing of late, and if we can do that, then there's no doubt that we can go and get a positive uh, result. There is more importance on these games, but you tended to re have responded, don't you, in, in previous encounters against the sides around you, which which is a big thing, isn't it? Well, I mean, I think we've always been very you know, balanced and consistent as the seasons went, you know, understanding the, the reason with the slow start with the personnel that you know, the quality players that we had missing and some of the uncontrollables that went against us, but always remaining firmly in the belief that, that we were good enough to, to remain in the Battles Premier League with such a tough set of fixtures, you know, to begin with the second half of the uh, the season. And we came out of the Manchester City game, we knew that there was games that we believed, you know, because in this league there's some games that look more winnable than others, and we believed there was points available to us in, in the run-in. To do that, we had to get to our very best. We've did that of late, but we must continue in that vein. You know, there's a... There's a number of games still to go, and as you go, you take tick one off, it becomes one less, and that's why these games at this stage of the season, no getting away from it, are huge games, and we have to be ready to give our best on Saturday. Mm.